What's up, fam? What's up? We are up. We are live. Running late as usual. Audio board moves slow. I don't understand. And it is not even connected to the internet. So I got to figure out how I'm going to work this audio board. Something's going to come along where I'm going to figure out how to work the audio board. So I want to say great cooch chocolate to each and everybody out there. Um, <clears throat> we got some new people that will be coming online. Um, some of y'all uh, seem like it's getting kind of hyped because uh, it looks like we're going to be doing a live toast on um, Ujima after the ceremony, after the Ra Rising ceremony. So I'm going to send out a reminder letting people know. Um, the only thing that I will need to know is where we will be setting up so that I could go and make sure that I have the equipment ready and, and um, can set up right after, you know, because, you know, life continues right after the Ra Rising ceremony. Um, so we're going to get it going. We're going to get it popping. We're going to get it popping. And uh, shouts out to Brother Shaka. I see you out there. Uh, the, I'm waiting for the message to go out now. Everything moving slow. But that's 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 the way it is. That's the way it is. So what we're gonna do today? Of course, we're gonna do our toast. I'm already sipping on some water. Um, I need to let you know you are now rocking with the best. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host, brother Hot Tim, and this is a Heart of a Simple production. Of course, you know we are on the daily toast. <laughs> Where we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. We having a raw rising ceremony. Check, check your text message from yesterday. Check the text message from yesterday. I'm gonna send out another text message. Uh, probably tomorrow. We'll talk about it a little bit right now. Drink your water. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, drink. some water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Lift your glass and go some water. Just lift your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Now move your body, drink some Everybody drink some water, okay. Move your body, drink some water. What? Move your body. Drink, 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 drink. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Check this out. Here we go. We're gonna do it real quick. Take your breath and drink some water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Move your body, drink some water. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Uh, breathe, live, move, drink. Oh no, it should be toast, right? Let's try to eat. Take your breath and drink some water. Glass and sip some water. Move your body, drink some water. Raise your glass and 
toast your ancestors. Alright, 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 alright. Drink, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. Oh, got excited. Alright, family. I want to welcome everybody um, that's coming in. I want to thank y'all for taking the time for joining us on Giami Journey. We're going to have a quick conversation about this Ra Rising Ceremony. Um... Uh, we're going to pull a little from some little articles and talk about what we know. we also going to talk a little bit about the show tonight. Um, anybody want to call in? Um, like I said, just hit me up. The lines are open. we got a couple minutes. Um, it's raining outside, so me and Cleo don't have to go out and water the garden this morning. The ancestors is taking care of that for us. Um, it sounds beautiful. I don't know if y'all can hear the, 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 the pinging on the glass. But it's a beautiful sound. And I got a few things to share with you um, before we get into this toast. Um, but family, um, to, not tomorrow, on Ujima at 545 at Franklin Park West, we will be meeting up for the Ra Rising Ceremony. Hopefully it won't be raining. And if we are up under pleasant skies, or I mean wherever we're going to eat at, I mean, I'm just going to bring what I got, but I'm going to bring my equipment, and we are going to do a live podcast, so the show's going to be real late on Ujima. I'm just letting y'all know, so, because we're going to do the Raw Rising Ceremony, and then wherever we sit down to, to feast as a group, I'm going to turn on the camera, and we are going to do the toast. Hopefully, it'll be inside if it's raining, but I want to do the toast. We're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of family family members there. Um, we're gonna lift up those glasses. You know, we're gonna sip on them health drinks. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough ambrosia. I ain't gonna have enough ambrosia by then, but I will have enough of the stuff, that strong stuff, that 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 we call it that that phoenix that phoenix blood, that ancient ambrosia. If people want to take shots. Take some shots, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey. Get the day started off right. Alright. So, alright, family, here we go. Here we go. Let's look at the spiritual significance of a stol solstice and equinox. Since we're coming up on the summer solstice. Solstice means sun steel. Sun stands still. All right. So, um, um, oh, oh, somebody asked. So, we're having the Raw Rising ceremony at Franklin Park West at 5:45 a.m. on Ujima. I don't know who is piloting Giami Journey at this present time, but um, that's when it's going down. So here we go. Let's go down. This article I'm pulling from is called "The Spiritual Sun." The sun, the source of light, life and life to every living physical thing is a unifying force, a blazing fire, and a giver and destroyer of life. So it's not surprising it has held so much importance through the ages, across distant continents, times, cultures, civilization, and religions. Tracing right back to the original global religion of the sun. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Throughout time, people gather to honor and celebrate the sun during the solstice and the equinox with special ceremonies, rituals, and observances. Great Kuchakli to you, Brother Kwame, as well. The solstice and the equinox are astron astronomical events marking the sun's seasonal movement in the sky each year. So, the year is broken down into parts. Some say four. You could break it down into if you like, if you're a mathematician like Brother Kwame, you could break it down into as many pieces as you want. The solstice and equinox breaks the years down into four parts, but then you can have eight parts because you have quarter times as well. And a lot of the holidays are set up around these 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 points where the sun are, where the sun is. For example, we have um, summer solstice around June 21st, which is the longest day of the year. Around the winter solstice, which is the longest night of the year, that is the time for uh, around Christmas time. 
June, that's why I say around June, we have to set up some type of holiday for ourselves. Then we got the equ we got the equinoxes where the year is split evenly, right? Where the time is split evenly. It's an even amount of days, an even amount, even even amount of um, light. And there's also these are switching periods for they give us signs to let us know we're moving into different seasons. All right. So throughout uh, the solstice and the equinox or astronomical events. Marking the sun's seasonal movement in the sky each year. At the summer solstice, the sun reaches its highest point in the sky, while the winter solstice descends to its lowest point. The spring and the autumn equinox marks the midpoints in the sun's move between the two solstices. Now, the summer solstice, now, because check this out, the sun is at its peak. This is when the masculine energy reaches its peak and begins to descend. All right? So, the masculine energy is moving up, it's getting to a high point, it's about to descend, and we're moving into, we're moving into the feminine energy time of the year now, as we move all the way back through to the winter solstice. At the winter solstice, that's the rebirth of the masculine energy, and it starts building up, and then it hits its peak on June 21st. And then it starts descending and the feminine energy starts building up. All right. So family, we got to understand our ancestors looked at the universe as, as a, I mean, it was in cycles. It's systems out there. It's a very, it's a, it's a very systematic piece that, that helps keep this whole, this whole planet of ours in balance. So let's go. Solar events. Solar events mark four equidistant points in the cycle of the sun through the calendar year and indicate the changes between the four seasons. Yet, to some ancient cultures, they also signify much more than that. They saw a deeper mystery to the solar movements. So what made the cosmic events so important to these ancients? Why did these civilizations align their altars, temples, households, courts, and monuments to the journey of the sun? The answer lies in understanding the deeper significance of the spiritual meaning of the sun. The harvest and the changing seasons are certainly key points in the cycle of life, death, and resurre resurrection in nature. But within, the, within this cycle, some ancient cultures perceived a powerful, deeper message. In the groundbreaking book, The Path of the Spiritual Sun, Beelzebub, which is a very strange name. I'm just letting you look that name up. I was going to skip this article, but this dude's name is Beelzebub. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think it's the start of the comedic new year. That would be more for the elders. I'm not, you know, I'm not real well versed in that aspect. I'm more into the, the whole cultural aspect of a unified continent type unified spiritual thought system i'm not really i'm not super comedic i'm not big on the comedic thing um lord of the flies yes he is the lord of the flies thank you brother kwame um Beelzebub presents new research which reveals how cultures influenced by the ancient religion of the sun understood that these four focal points of the year illuminated stages of an inner spiritual journey a solar path an individual can undertake within themselves the paths towards spiritual enlightenment. He drew upon his own unique experience of undertaking the path of enlightenment to decode the esoteric factors motivating these ancient peoples to celebrate and commemorate the passage of the sun as they did. This research reveals that these ancient cultures saw in the celestial movements of the sun a cosmic reflection of the spiritual journey they could undertake on earth within themselves. This explains why monuments, cities, and lifestyles were modeled around the solstices and the equinoxes and aligned to the journey of the sun and the stars. The ancient civilization, based on the religion of the sun, saw spiritual enlightenment as the real purpose of life and sought to orient their entire societies to the spiritual principles they saw displayed above them in the heavens. Um, when is that? Lord, when is what? Oh, the comedic new year. Um... Brother Kwame, Sister Christine want to know when is the comedic new year? I think it's in August. The comedic year, new year is different depending on where on earth one is. 
and our new year is celebrated August 3rd to the 8th. Um, some examples of, of the types of ancient sites, temples, and monuments that align to the sun can be seen below. Stone circles, mounds, which Ohio is, listen, Ohio is the mound capital of the world. I'm just, I'm just, it was a whole lot of mounds here that was destroyed. I'm just letting y'all know where, where you at. Letting you know where you at. All right. Um, the spiritual significance sun journey also explained why deities throughout history have been linked with the sun. And the sun gods and sun men have been venerated. Come on now. For example, sun Christ savior figures have emerged time and time again within various traditions derived from the original ancient religion of the sun and the key stages in their lives often correspond to solar events. Researchers have noted, research has have noted how many of these figures, such as Jesus, Mithra, Krishna, Quasicoto, among others, often share similarities. They may be associated with the sun, born at the winter solstice, teach and perform wonders, die and resurrect at the spring equinox, ascend to the heavens, at the summer solstice, the future return of the sun, Christ figures also often foretold um, who will come again at the winter solstice when the world is at its darkest and bring light into the world once again. Some say these similarities are the mere cultural transcendence of myths and tales, but when one examines these stories from cosmic from a cosmic perspective and trace and traces the origin of the cultures associated with these figures, it seems more likely the similarities um, exist because these figures through their own lives on earth illustrate the solar path to enlightenment that is literally part of creation depicted by the sun above us to illuminate the path to light on earth this cosmic correspondence reflects the hermetic oxymum as above so below also known as correspondence um uh oh miss christine said her birthday is during the comedic new year celebrating the equinox the sources and equinox. Those who understand the spiritual message encoded in the sun's physical journey were empowered to take up the journey. It symbolized in their own lives. Various ancient societies that inherited the knowledge of the religion of the sun therefore celebrated and marked these cosmic events in the fashion of their culture. Although over time, the deeper understanding of their astronomical events um, generally diminished and the celebration tended to lose touch with the metaphysical aspects. So, we know... That the journey of the sun is, in a sense, the hero journey. This journey of the sun is the rites of passage journey that we will take our young people through. The journey of the sun is the journey through which you travel in your life, right? And the whole piece is when we celebrate the solstice, we're not just celebrating the sun at its highest point with, or, or the, with the longest day of the year. We're celebrating us. We have to celebrate your birthday, Christine Low. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. So we um we're building on. We're gonna build on. We're gonna continue, continue building on that until we get to the solstice. But tonight, I need to remind y'all, family, we will be discussing folk tales for grown folks. And um, this one sounds like a rap song. The title of the folk tale for the night. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Right? The bitch and her whelps. I like that. Let me say. Mm. Let me get my lips wet for that one. Mm. Let me say that again. The bitch and her whelps. You know, feel kind of good to let it out sometimes. Y'all ready? Just so that y'all can have a head start. A bitch. Ready to whelp earnestly begged a shepherd for a place where she might litter. When her request was granted, she besought permission to rear her puppies in the same spot. The shepherd again consented. But at last, the bitch, protected by the bodyguard of her whelps, who had now grown up and were able to defend themselves, asserted her exclusive right to the place and would not permit the shepherd to approach 
family. Tell your friends, tell your family, this show is going to be hot. Because we're going to talk about this bitch tonight. We're going to talk about this dirty bitch tonight. I'm just letting y'all know, right? Because this story right here came in a different form earlier. But this story is very, very important. This story illustrates for us exactly the method that was used against us and the method that's still being used against us today, economically, politically, spiritually, socially. We have to understand. We got it. Family, tell your friends, tell your, tell your cousins, tell your co-workers, we going to chop it up tonight because we going to dissect this bitch and her whelps. Right, and we gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna point out the bitches and the whelps in your life. I'm just I'm just letting y'all know we we gonna point out some bitches and whelps. You know what I'm saying? We because uh, they, they're here, they're here. All right. So I just wanted to, I just it's, it's about to go down. And like I said, I don't pick this. I'm going in order. And for those that want to know what page I'm on, I'm reading from Aesop Fables, the complete original trans um, translation from Greek. By Aesop, translated by George Fowler Thompson. I got it from Forgotten Books. It was very, very reasonable. And I am on page 278. This means that folk tales for grown folks have had, we got over 278 episodes. We got my fault. Got to take off the introduction. Let's take off the first um, 13, uh, no, first first 17 pages so 278 minus 17 equals 251 or some shit like that i'm not playing i thought we were going to discuss why we don't have a juneteenth celebration i mean that's gonna be part of it too i mean you got that look 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 at the bitch and her whelps and then look at why we don't have a juneteenth a bitch and her whelps is why we don't have a juneteenth right now you don't see that? This is what I'm saying. We got to be able, we have to, we got to be able to start looking at the symbolism and applying the symbolism to the situations around us. The, the, this story is going to discuss, or at least be able, you're going to be able to plug in the fact of why we don't have a Juneteenth anymore. A bitch in her wells. Hmm. What happened? I ain't, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm just going to leave and I'm going to, I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna let you, I'm, I'm gonna let you marinate on that one for a minute. Um, what are whelps? Whelps are pups, puppies. That's what you know. what I'm saying in the old days they didn't just say they called them whelps. You know, uh, de dependent on the mother and 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 uh, I don't know what a what a eel. What's an eel? Oh, a whelp is a pup. All right. So let me read it one more time so that you can understand. So now. You got a bitch and her whelps. So you got a, a, a dog, a female dog, and, all right, hold on. A bitch, which is a female dog, ready to whelp. Well, she was ready to drop her puppies. She was ready to have her puppies. Earnestly begged the shepherd for a place where she might litter, where she could have her puppies. When her request was granted, she besought permission to rear or raise her puppies in the same spot. The shepherd again said, "Okay, you can, you can chill in this spot." But at the la but at last, the bitch, protected by the bodyguard of her whelps or her puppies, who were now full grown, who had now grown up and were able to defend themselves, asserted her exclusive right to the place and would not permit the shepherd to approach. Just, just marinate on it. Go to work. Think about it. Don't hit nobody. Cause when you when it finally hits you, right? You're gonna be like, damn. I listen, family. Tell your friends, tell your family. We gonna be we chopping it up tonight, right? We're gonna talk about the bitches and his whelps, and you're gonna be able to plug in a lot of shit. And we gonna we gonna find where these bitches and these whelps are in our community. I'm gonna point them out. I'm 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 point them out, and it ain't who y'all think it's. It ain't who some of y'all thinking it is. Right? Because it's, it's, this, is, this is a system. The bitch is a system. It ain't an individual. 
America, oh, well, yeah, well, America, yeah, the concept of America was, I mean, if you think about America, how it was formed, the bitch and her whelps, shit. I think how they got your ass over here, the bitch and the whelps. You know what I'm saying? How they keep you here, the bitch and her whelps. Shit, come on now. How they keep you broke, the bitch and her whelps. Listen, um, I, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a hot, live, smoking conversation tonight. And those that get offended by these words, please understand that this this book right here is using bitch in the proper context. It's referring to a female dog. But we're gonna break it down. We're gonna break down this female dog. We're gonna look at what it is, what it really is, how does how does it manifest, and what and, and how do you deal with it. How do you deal with it? All right, family. So now it's time for us to get this toast on. Oh, let me give you my review. This is some expensive shit. This propolis is some expensive shit. And I have to figure out how to work it. Because I chewed on it yesterday and the shit got caught on my teeth. And I could not get it off. I mean, I still got some of the shit on my teeth. So I'm figuring out how to take it. So I'm going to, we're going to continue our journey with this expensive as B crack, right? Because really, it's just like B. This is this is literal B crack, right? You know what I'm saying? Then we got the other one, right? You know, so it's like you know, we got the honey, we got the B crack right here, which is the propolis, and we got um, the B pollen, right? And I'm sitting up like this shit right here. I mean, I could feel it, but I can't deal with the shit. Is it, when when I say it gets stuck. It gets stuck, so I'm gonna find a way to break it down, and whether I have to soak it or whatever, so that it, I could just swallow this shit or whatever. But it was, it was not cool. It was not cool, and I had to go to a meeting, and I had all this shit caked up on my teeth and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I had to back all the way up so people wouldn't be able to look all the way in my mouth. I tried to drink some hot coffee, coffee to burn the shit off, and end up burning on the inside of my mouth. If that didn't work, I tried to get at the sink and turn on the hot water. That shit didn't work. You know what I'm saying? It took about four hours for me to lick that shit off of my teeth. So I'm going to figure out how to do this. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? I mean, but somebody got somebody got to go out here and experience this shit so that we all don't make the same mistakes. Because I don't want nobody that's going to a job to walk into your job. And have this shit kicked on your teeth and, and have people wonder what the fuck going on. So I will take the bullet so that you don't have to be dealing with this. We're going to figure this out because this is some powerful shit, right? But what I'm starting to notice is that, uh, that, that the effects that some of this have, all of it have. So royal jelly has the same effect as this. Honey has the same effect as this. The bee pollen has the same effect as this. You know what I'm saying? And... They all, they all work. So we got access to it. We're going to do it now. So let me show you something else. We're also going to talk about, so right now, right here, what I have right here is fermenting eggs. I know y'all like, wow, rely on Tim. Yeah, I, 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 I go in. After I get done fasting, I do need some major fermenting because this is the best food, at least I believe. And I like eggs. And what's better than some a little, a little ambrosia, a little, a little um, uh, a phoenix, a, um, phoenix blood, and a little bit of uh, salt and some seasonings. You know what I'm saying? And then you see the, if you see the black seeds floating in there, that's the black sesame. I think we're gonna talk a little bit about black sesame tomorrow because it's very accessible and has some very good effects, right? And we got that. And also, I made some cabbage. And carrots, you know, um, uh, black seed, um, black sesame, um, cayenne, um, that ambrosia, you know what I'm saying, the ancient ambrosia or the phoenix blood, um, salt, you know what I'm saying, keep it submerged to allow the process to take place. So I'm gonna go and put them up so they go and do their thing. Actually, they're probably ready right now because it's so hot. Outside, um, so let's without any further ado, 
Let's put on some water drinking music. I gotta go get up my kids because it's time for me to get get back on the grind again. Let's see. Let's let's let's, let's do. Uh, I'm gonna do my song. <laughs> Start, we're gonna start off the day with some. Well, actually, we started off with a shot of that Phoenix blood. I got just a little bit of ginseng, you have just a little bit, just enough to do the toast. Just enough to do the toast. All right, see that? All right, here we go. First, raising the glass to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator, we lift up our glass and we salute the first ancestor. And we say, Ashe. From there, family, we move on to the stars of the show. Without any further ado, we send out our salutes to Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robin and Tex, Tony Davis, Herman Brown, C, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, when you want to, Chris and Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland, Janine Brown, Mark Ellis, Watch Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Avira Brown. Jenny Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fallar, Montague Pittmanel, No More X, Pat Meyer, Rob, Malika Fakua, Dr. May Ann Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusef Weston, Elder Ogeny, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Hector Jr., Jay Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, there go. Pull in the Luxor Brothers, Miss Eda Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jay Brunson, Mr. Lonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kale Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trey, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Ernest McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Renderman, Virginia Rogers, Rem J. Smith, Laura T Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susan B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Well, Levita Farmer, Argosa, Sue Shell Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, D. Ellis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thorne, Eric Patricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary, Eliz Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther, Keishla Reese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Banks, the Mary Marshall, P. Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quills, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quills, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.E. Johnson, Derrida Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Devester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Amitette Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Delma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, 
Alicia Allen, Ohio, Franklin Russell Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs, second, Venus Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jack Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy. Now to the pretty book. Iola, uh, my fault. Defreitas Hines, Inez Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winifred Scannelberry, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spratling, Calvin Spratling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Printup Jr., Miriam Johnson, Wilbert Longmire, Edith Catney, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Peanut Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles. Okay. Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sinsonball, Hazel Gaston, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaneko Parsons, Jason Cathy, Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots, Jefferson, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Emma McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Mina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Teray, Donna Hill, Richard Glebus, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gaucher, Georgia Haley Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Kids Christine Cottrell, Aunt Becker, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eulen and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, William and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie Harriet Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Criola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino Baby Hatch, Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Doretha Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Nidhi Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Vivian Stevenson, Moni, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappell Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Leroy Q. He Sr., Albert Moore, Miss Vanella, Albert Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Earlington Houston, Lud Alls, Elijah Alls, Rome Alls, Henry West Statton, Joe Jamel Alls, Ann Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Bat Vaughn, John Dewey, and Ruth Beard, Tim Butler, Ramey Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Baba Naeem, Jeanette Saunders, Jerry C. Saunders, no, yeah, Sanders, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Mireille Ellis, Elizabeth Battles. Uh, Kwame Navida Hatim, are the three of you available for dinner at my place this morning? Oh, I'm always available for dinner. <laughs> dinner, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm available for dinner. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. We raised the glass to our ancestors. And we're going to eat on the money. So we raise our glass. And we say, ah, shay. From their family, we move on. We move on. And where we going? We're going to the present moment. We're going to right now. Run, run, come on. What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. 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 There is no 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 tomorrow. That is a cold ass scene. I'm so glad Shaka told me about that, man. I put that on here for this present moment, family. There is no tomorrow. There is no there is no past. We are right here in this moment. We are always in this moment. Right now. Always. So what we build right now. We build for our children. We are on a hunt right now. We are on a hunt right now for what? We on a hunt for Kuji Chagalia. Family today, 
activate those reticular formations and find that Kuji Chagalia up in our community, up in your life. Share it on the Giami Journey timeline, on the Facebook timeline. Let's let's go on, let's go and we 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 develop in a positive spot. And the newsletter is coming. I'm trying to let y'all know. Listen, I'm raising this money. We're gonna raise this money. We're gonna get this twelve ass this twelve to fifteen passenger van. I'm not I'm not playing with y'all. We about to get this van, right? So that we can make sure that we're able to transport our people when it's time for us to come together for these meetings because we going we got the bi weekly meetings popping back off. You know what I'm saying? Building up the membership. We're gonna sell books, we're gonna sell these shirts. We're going to, listen, this Ambrosia is going out the door. I'm listen, we about to get this we about to we about to get this van. Hold on, let me shut up for a second. Self determination. The modic principle today is justice. The color is indigo, which is a dark, dark blue. Um, the correspondence, uh, the the Hermetic laws correspondence, and you heard them talking about that in the solstice piece. But you can go and look up and do some research on the solstice yourself. Um, if you was born on this day, the male energy or the male name for the day is Quabana. That's my day. This is my day. This, you know, what I'm saying happy day for me, right? Female Abana, of course, y'all know that's my daughter Gina. Um, let me see. Let me see. This is something I need to say. Oh, so what we gonna do with the daily toaster shirt? Because what I'm um because like I said, I'm uh, I'm still me and me and sister Navita got to hook up because I want to see how we gonna do it because I'm gonna be able to look like we're gonna be able to produce the shirts, right? Which is gonna cut the cost. So I'm gonna go back up. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to reduce the cost after after I see that we could do it. I'm gonna get some young we're gonna try to get some young people, get them to learn how to make shirts and stuff like that, make hoodies and all that. But what we're gonna be able to do with the daily toast shirts, and this is coming in the future. So you see I got on the black one. This will be for since we don't have a dark blue, this will be for Kuji Chagalia. But each day is going to have its own color. So if you want to signify the day that you was born on with your daily toaster shirt, you're going to be able to do it. We're going to be able to have uh, the purple for Moja, the indigo, or the black. Or maybe, maybe I might be able to find a dark blue for um, um, Kuji Chaglia. We're going to be able to have um, the blue for Ujima. That's why I'm going to do black for um, Kuji Chaglia. On Ujima, we're going to have the blue. Um, on Ujima, we're going to have green. On Nia, we're going to have yellow. On Kaumba, we're going to have orange. And then on Mani, we're going to have red. So if you want to signify the day that you was born on, we're going to put the Daily Toast on your color shirt and, you know, make it available. Let's just make it available. You know what I'm saying? And then if we, if, and if those that want them, we could throw the principles of the day. As well as your day name on it. So if you if you're a female and you're born on the day, you have Abana on the back. You know what I'm saying? Um, along with the daily toast, boom, with stuff I got on there. Then we got uh, we could put the principles on it. I mean, I, it just I, listen. We're going in so many different directions with this. So we left up our glass to this present moment, and we say, I say. From there, we move to our future, our children, our children's children, onto affinity. We realize that we make our children's future in the moment, right now. In the work that we do, right? This is not your moment. This belongs to your children, period. So, you know what I'm saying? The stuff that you do, the decisions that you make, you must realize that they affect, they affect much more than you. The things that you do affect much more than you, right? Realize that when you knock down those dominoes, it don't stop. So, we lift it up. We lift it up and we say, I say. All right, family, from there, we move on to all of our relations. I toast all of our relations and we say I say from their family we move on and we do the little selfish toast right now right now what do you need you know what I'm saying because I know um, we got some issues we got uh, some stuff out there and we want to make sure that we able to toast you know what I'm saying you don't have to say it out loud you keep it silent in your mind you know what I'm saying um, but we ask the ancestors to give you what you need we ask the ancestors to move in your life in a powerful way, right? So we lift up our glass and we say, I say. From there, family, I toast the most powerful being in the room right now. And that's you, right? So we lift up the glass and we say, I say. I say. I say. 
Family, I wish you peace, power, and joy in 100 years. And y'all have a great and positive day, a great and powerful day, all right? I'm out. See you tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure your cousin Pookie there because I'm going to get it. We hitting it tonight. Peace.